You guys ready for Would You Rather? Let's do it. Some of these are sports, some of these are non-sports. But question number one. Let me get the super, Steve. Would you rather get hit with a Shohei Otani 100-mile-an-hour fastball in the ribs oh. or have the Steelers win the 2023 Super Bowl? Oh, that's so easy. A. I'd rather get hit with the Otani yeah, fastball. Yeah, give me the fastball. I mean, you'll live from that. I think Jason's like going to say the Steelers. I'll take the Steelers. I get hit with a fastball. Jason, yeah, you'll rub it off. <laughs> I'm used no to pain of watching other teams. I've yeah. had enough of that pain. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to take um, – Because be, that lingers forever. Then you got to listen to it. It would just be cool to – Stand in the box against Otani, even if I had to take the hit. Can You'd I put never a, get be able to get out of the way? You wouldn't be able to move. No. Can I put a hundred bucks on the Steelers ahead of time because those are massive odds for the Steelers yeah. to win the Super yeah, Bowl this year? That's true. Those are monster odds. Yeah. What are they? Probably like twenty to one, twenty-five to one. Probably twenty-five to one. I'll look it up. Yeah, Anthony, we look up maybe Steelers even bigger. I think they be bigger. Odds. Yeah. Um, Tyvis, we the asked AFC. this to him yesterday. Yeah. Tyvis said I'd get hit in the ribs a hundred times. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Before. I mean, I no, I, no, I take it back. I take 90s. it back. I was wrong. Tyvis said he'd rather have the Steelers win the Super Bowl. What? Thank you, Tyvis. He sold right? out. Uh, Earl, it's, confirm, it's, right? He did say that? Yeah, he, just said yeah, he did say that. Yeah. It, the that's the right answer. It, the sting of it goes away. I mean, if, if, if he breaks a rib, that's going to be painful And you're going to puncture a lung and you're going to die. And you're going <laughs> to die. die. I true. may die if I have to watch another Steelers <laughs> Super Bowl That's true. I'd rather watch the Steelers win a Super Bowl than have to die. But, you know. Not me. And then he's short of death. <laughs> if I die before the Browns win one and the Steelers, and I have to watch the Steelers win another one, I will die a miserable human mm. being. I, I don't, I, like, you. people don't know. Like, I, I, I physically get sick, like, sometimes. Like, when Aditi talks about the Steelers, even though she's, she's there, you know, she grew up there in the fan no, she base. she grew up there. No, she's from New Jersey. Oh, she, she, she just covers them. Yeah, she just them. covers she them. Just, her husband's a Steelers. She fan. just, she covers them. When she talks about Mike Tomlin, and TJ, why I get sick to my stomach? I don't. I don't even play with the Steelers on Madden. You don't want to see them. I don't I play either. against them. I, 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 no. By, by the way, my son and I replayed the Bengals Bills game that got wiped out yeah, by the heart attack. Right. We decided to replay that, and the Bengals won fifty-six to six. Oh, so, you beat them? Come on now. Yeah. You know how to play Madden? I mean, my son knows how to play. I did it with boy, him. Boy, I'm you, it. You, were the, you were the Bills, right? I'm no, no, no. We both we took we were the Bengals as a team, and the computer was the Bills. Ah, see, okay, see, yeah. I, I was like, I'm about to say, I'm noticing the trend. You, you out here dog walking your, your kid. I beat him <laughs> hoops the other day. I smashed <laughs> no, no, the no. man. <laughs> no, we were playing. We were both the, like he'd be. He's your, your squad, and I'd be changed. Have you guys ever seen the Chappelle skit where he goes and plays Madden against the kids in the cancer center? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all time Chappelle skit. It is great. Hey. Now I gotta watch that later today. Oh. Uh, two updates, real quick. The Steelers <laughs> fifty-one to fifty-five to one odds. To Holy the Super Bowl. crap! So you yeah. could cash I mean, it's in because big. of all the it's garbage and uh, yeah. I mean all the talent in the, AFC. the AFC, and they have no quarterback. Yeah. yeah. Two. Would your answer to that question have changed if it was either the Ravens or the Bengals? Well, for me, it certainly would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it would change for me if it was like butt cheek. I'll get hit in the butt cheek. I get hit in the ribs. Yeah, the ribs tough. Would I you rather the ribs. Bengals win the Super Bowl or or Otani? I mean, that's like saying you want to get hit in the face with a shovel, or do you want me to kick you in the yeah, nuts? Yeah, but you don't like, hate the Bengals as much as you hate the Steelers and Ravens, or maybe you do. But no, it's I growing. don't. You're right. <laughs> I, I I don't. But yeah. it's close. <laughs> but 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 the thing we hang our hat on is no matter how many times you you've gone there, you haven't won a Super Bowl yet. Yeah. So we so just, I don't want the Bengals so we to don't, win one before right, we yes. win one. I don't like that. That's not very nice. You guys should be, you know, I want the Browns <laughs> to win a Super Bowl. We're not very nice. I think. want the Browns to win a we, Super Bowl. No, we we had oil we'll, dumped on our face we'll, for 50 we'll, I want the Browns and the Bengals to win we, a Super Bowl. We, there's a duality. There's, we cannot do that. Bull telling anyone that's not very nice is yeah, hysterical to me. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the other would you rather? Question number two. We got seven of these, so we got plenty. Let them roll. They're fun. Would you rather... Guarantee that Evan Mobley turns into the modern day version of Kevin Durant, or guarantee that Stephen Kwan turns into the oh, wait, modern day version. Wait, is it Kevin Garnett or Kevin Durant? Garnett Kevin Garnett, sorry, Kevin Garnett, team. sorry. Okay, uh, I would definitely take the second one because I care way more about the Guardians than I do about the Cavs. Um, that's exactly my yeah. answer. I, that's listen, my answer. listen, I, okay. listen. Each although I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, but the one thing I'll say is, one if he becomes Kevin Garnett, that. That gets you to winning more than Juan you, yeah, a lot closer to a row. championship than yeah. it does. But I'm still going with Juan I mean, to each yeah. row. That means that means Quan would have each row numbers. He get like seven thousand hits, and that guarantees me nothing. Unless Quan turn, turns into uh, Otani and he starts to pitch too, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would probably would be a lot easier. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. give me that. Just the baseball. Bias. I do think I do think that you know the first one gives you a better chance of having a championship, but. Right. 
until Otani, and, I, and it's, it's, it feels weird to say this as a grown man that you have a favorite player. Yeah. But the, the player that I enjoy watching the most now is Otani. But for so many years, it was Ichiro because he had every tool that you wanted a, a player to have. I mean, he didn't have a lot of power, although he could put on a show in batting practice, mm-hmm. yeah. like one after another. Right. Um, but he was a, kind of a punch and Judy opposite field guy and speed and the arm. He single-handedly beat the Indians in a postseason yes, series. Yes, he did. He, he yes, was he up did. in every big moment, yeah. and he got a hit every single time. Every single time. Couldn't and get him out. Had he played his whole career in the big leagues, he would have beaten Pete Rose's hit record. Oh, yeah. Well, would have, would have destroyed it. For destroyed sure. It. I and mean, he didn't come here until he was 29, 28. At least 27. I don't yeah, know And then he exactly. played until he was 70. And he still had a... He still he had, did play. How many fi- hits did he finish with? Over 3,000. I don't think it was close I'll to 4,000. No, I think it was like 3,700. I mean, 3, he's, he made his major league debut at 27, 28, whatever it was, and he's yeah. a Hall of Famer. Like, not even close. He's a yeah. no-brainer. Every, yeah. time, every time you say that, I just get mad. 3,700 hits is crazy. 3,000 hits put you in the Hall of Fame. Somebody got 1,200 more hits than that, and he's just on the sidelines. I don't get it. Yeah. Just Ichiro watching. played 19 seasons, has just under 3,100 hits Ooh, in, major, 3, in Major League Baseball. Yeah, okay. I, I, I thought he it played was 19 much. seasons. 19. Well, remember yeah. though, Bull. He oh, he was, would come back at the end. Yeah, and he was playing. Uh, he had. He really hair. played 17. He played 15 games he in one year. Played for the Marlins. Three right. games. Yeah, in no, one year. Did, what, How old was he in his rookie season? 27. Oh, I was Dang, 27. That's crazy. I had it was 2001, right? Correct. I had him. I won. He led me to a fantasy championship. Did he really? Wow. He had crazy. seasons of 242 as a rookie, 242 yeah. hits with a 350 batting average. Yeah, but he's 27. In 2004, Nobody he had 262 no. hits with a 372 batting average. What? For the whole season? Yeah. He played 161 games, literally only missed one game, had 262 hits, a 372 batting average, eight home runs, 60 RBIs, 36 stolen bases. Now, think about how nuts Ted Williams is for hitting 400. Crazy. Yeah. Like, he, he – had how many hits? 260 and only hit let only. You, let me ask you. Hit, I was the leadoff guy. He had a lot of at bats. How many? How many? Uh, uh, what year was Ted Williams? 41. 41. How many George black? Brett hit 388. How, I how think many that's... black players did Ted Williams face? How many well, Latin yeah, players exactly. did Ted Williams face? Yeah, none. Fair. It's still bonkers. Still I don't crazy. care. Yeah. Well, I'm throwing. Yeah, yesterday, it's still impressive. Still well, crazy. Yesterday there was. It was funny because Steve Phillips, the former GM, yeah. was on with. Mad Dog Russo. And I love Chris, and he, I grew up listening to him. But when it comes to baseball, he hates the World Baseball Classic. He's, a, he's an idiot. He's become like a buffoon now. He, and his baseball knowledge, though, is it, really, He knows really deep. baseball, no doubt. But Steve Phillips says, Shohei Itani's the greatest baseball player ever. Yeah. Now, I think he's got to do it longer, but I think he's... A, Skip and, Bayless tweeted that out, too, if that means and, anything. And, and Mad Dog said, you're crazy, and he brought up Babe Ruth. And Steve Phillips said, well, Babe Ruth didn't f- face black or Latin players. And Steve, uh, Chris Mad Dog Russo went crazy saying that's irrelevant. No, no it's, not irrelevant. it's not irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. Babe Ruth would have still been great, but Babe he wouldn't have been, been as great. No. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. See, I mean, I, look, you get everybody got asterisks next to something, but, but that's a big asterisk. If you only played against your next door neighbors, bro, that's that plus. There was only like. There weren't that many. You only played against like seven teams. You knew yeah. the pitchers Listen, well. Listen, Ted Williams ain't hitting 400 today, but it's no. still it's, it's still it's remarkable. remarkable no. what it's he did. Hey, it is and what Joe it is. Joe DiMaggio's 56 yeah. game hitting streak yeah. is also because that is again com- competition is is really it is what it is. It's all oranges to oranges. You you, you got to do it. Yeah. And yeah, the competition today is far greater, and the pitching is more specialized, which is why guys have a yeah. hard time extending hitting streaks right. today. But it's something that a lot of people don't know about Ted Williams, 56. Kenny Keltner was the third baseman of the Indians the day it broke, the day they broke it. He made three all-star caliber plays that most people that were at the game said there was only one or two other third basemen in the game that could have made yeah. one of those. Wow. And then he went on to hit in 19 more games yeah. after that. So who knows? So it should have been like a 77 76. game yeah. Yeah. hitting and, and Ted Williams did hit. Over 380, I think, at age 40 or 39 yeah. or something. Ted which is crazy. Just, he's mean, great, but it wouldn't have still wouldn't have been I, I great. mean, they're, they're baseball. But we got to get back to it. All the records is never Give me be Mobley as Garnett no. because that means more to winning the yeah. championship and also because I wrote before that draft the Cavs needed to get Evan Mobley, and I was right. Yeah, well, you were right on that. You're right. Before we get to question three, we have a super chat, and this is a question, actually, from Bagzilla. <laughs> My wife wants to know when the UCSS Bagzilla. swimsuit calendar is coming out. But oh, 
I don't know, but I'm July. <laughs> oh, no, hold on. But, but I do have a I do have a swimsuit calendar for the barbershop. I do. Shut of up. Of course he does. I'm not lying. No, wait. Oh, who's on it? Uh, well, I, there's there's models. Oh, you hired models? Yes. Bro, you're like a marketing machine. Yeah. You've I didn't know you're allowed logo? to do that anymore. Hmm? You you, gotta, you've got a low. Yeah, I didn't either. You, like, <laughs> I, I'll show you my bathing suits. They're really cute. I didn't think you're allowed to do swimsuit like calendars anymore. Yeah. G Bush just said something that I thought I'd never hear in my life. I'll show you my bathing suits. I'll show suits. you my bathing suits. They're, They're really, really cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd I hear wasn't, you say that. That wasn't on the bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> that was not on the bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> Have those come out yet? Have we talked about that? I think yeah. so. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we released them this week. We're playing right now. Oh, really? What's the next question, Mike? Question Well, no, we didn't answer that question. I think 20. 2024, we should do one. Wait, what? Oh, oh the, swimsuit the swimsuit calendar. calendar. We'll put a pin in that. Yeah, nobody wants I'm to good. see us in swimsuits. I think you're fine to do it. Let's hire a bunch of hot girls for it. Anthony's, I see Anthony in the gym from time to time. You're getting the shots. You're getting the shots. Yep, yep. See? Yep. Nobody's TBD. fine. TBD. TBD. Okay, next question. Steve, take it. Would you rather have Jimmy Haslam sell the Browns? Yes. Or never pay for a meal the rest of your life? A. B. Yeah. A. Never pay for a meal. Hey, I'm all oh, come on, you know what I'm, I'm talking about. about. Definitely B because that's a good one, guys. I don't know. You know what I'm talking one. about because really like we thought it was great when Jimmy bought the team because we the last guy sucked. Yeah. So maybe the next guy sucks too. Can't suck this bad. Nope. Uh, one Why the last guy sucked this bad? One in 31. It, it, it is kind of crazy. Yeah, but the, if you look at the career winning percentage between him and the last owner, it's about the same. I'll pay for every meal. The rest Jimmy's of my life. awful. But I'd rather have free meals the rest of my life. I mean, you're going to pay for the meals anyhow. No uh, most owners suck. Lunch. Most owners are the same. Jimmy See? sucks. I give you that. He's the worst. <laughs> he is the worst. He, yeah. Give me free Once meals. Once Dan Snyder's out, he officially becomes and the worst And I've told you guys this story, but there was somebody that covers has covered the league for a long time that told me, Jay, pick another team. Because nah. as long as that guy owns it, and there's no reason to think that he's not going to in the future, they're never going to win He's a Super adding Bowl. to. He keeps adding to the portfolio. Yeah. yeah. He's a, he's How about a you take shit, that money and yeah. drop it into this franchise? Give us a winner. You've, you, you've, you've made us endure an 0-16 and, and a 1-15. and 15. Don't give money to Milwaukee. That's funny. Jay, Jay, Jay's hot about that. He didn't like listen, that. I am hot about that. I've said the other day, I hope the Cavs beat the Bucks in the playoffs and Jimmy's sitting courtside with a Bucks hat on. That's Jay's also got FU money, so he don't care about <laughs> that. No, I don't. FU money is Jimmy's money. <laughs> He's right. got FU money. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, uh, oh my God. That's embarrassing. Jay's two for two. I keep catching the wind. The wind keeps yeah, blowing. I nailed both of my shots here. today. All right, what's the next one? These are Question fun. number four. Like these. Would you rather have a Wait, nice... Wait, hold on. G, G didn't answer that last question. Oh, eat. Definitely for free. Eat. Right? <laughs> for free. Right. Why would I do that? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, is there a question? Would you rather have a nice sit-down dinner with Kevin Stefanski or a night on West 6th Street with Freddie Kitchens? Easy Stefanski. Eat. We're getting in a fight if we're on West Six with Freddie. Freddie's an There's idiot. There's going to be a fight, and I'm not a p- hanging out at night kind of guy. I'd rather have a sit down dinner, and I'd much rather hang with the intelligent Stefanski than that. There was almost Freddy. a fight at the NFL Combine with Stefanski, or I'm sorry, with yeah. Freddie. There will most certainly be a fight on West Sixth oh, yeah. Street. Freddie's a dope. with Freddie. Um, yeah, but I'm in this for a good time. Like, I don't know how much a good time a steak dinner with Kevin get, is. I love Kevin. Even if you get punched in the face and arrested. But yeah, I'm good with that. That's a story. <laughs> Just so let me tell you about the night Freddie and I painted West Six. What yeah. if I have to write that story, though? I don't <laughs> want to okay. write that story. I'll get, some, I'll get some bias, some friend bias here. Right, 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 right. I'm going to go with... I'm gonna go with it's a life is about experience. I'm gonna go with Freddie. I'm gonna go with Freddie. Yeah, he'll have a he'll have a good time out. Yeah, we're the I, clubbers. I to, uh, you're you're, a, you're going out with Freddie. Two, Ten years ago, yeah. No, Twenty years and, ago. And you know what? You can take the dude out of the nightclub, but <laughs> right. you can't take the nightclub right. out of the dude. You're going with us. Yeah. Bull and I think you should join us. No, I'm not. That's gonna I'm be out. a hell of a story. I mean, all right, I'll go. But <laughs> the Monday after that weekend when we come yeah. in. And we're, we've got black eyes, and we've got stories, <laughs> and, and you're sitting there going, and then we look at Bull and say, Bull, how was your weekend? I had a center cut filet with Kevin Stefanski. <laughs> it was marvelous. Well, if Kevin's paying, I'm getting the ribeye. <laughs> yeah, of and course. Lobster. Who came up with that one? Kudos. Yeah, all right. Really team well effort, done. Team effort, though. Team effort. Yeah. yeah, all these are great. All right, this is the last sports one before we get to two, uh, two ones from Google that are non-sports. So, are you ready for number five? Write some of these. So. What do you say? Did artificial intelligence write something? No, I, d- I just wanted to get some non-sports oh, ones, so okay. I just searched some Google. Okay. okay. Would you rather be sacked by Miles Garrett without pads once or only take cold showers for the rest of your life? Oh, I hate cold showers. I do, I'll too. Take, I'll get hit by Miles. Miles, bring it. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Does he Do have? Graphic is, does he <laughs> censored? <laughs> What is on my head there? Is that my arms? It's your hands. It's your hands. And oh. you, you look oh. like uh, Pam Anderson oh, just my hands. opened your shower curtain. Yeah. And you saw that she was standing there with nothing on. Well, she'd be impressed. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm going with the cold showers. I am, I'm not taking no hit. Yeah, but if there. you're taking a cold shower, <coughs> Pam isn't going to be impressed. That's true. <laughs> shrinkage. It's shrinkage. Shrinkage. It's shrinkage. Is real. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. Uh, does he have equipment on? Yeah, it's Miles Garrett. As if you were Lamar Jackson in the pocket with Damn, no that's going to hurt like hell. Yes. <laughs> uh, the cold showers is paying the rest of your life. Are you more likely to die wearing no equipment, taking a sack yeah. from Miles Garrett, yeah. or, get, or getting hit by the Otani catch Yeah, but you'll survive. Oh, but my, Miles Garrett hit could kill you. Yeah. I don't See? think 100 mile an hour to the ribs, although it could puncture. I, I would rather – Chance getting killed than have to take a cold shower the rest of my life because I'd rather be um, dead than have to take cold and guys, showers. Guys, I, I tell you oh, this: too. I hate we, cold th- showers. Rethinking the Otani thing, 100 mile an hour heat. First of all, in the room yeah. is tough. It, just listen to the when the ball hits the glove. I think I told you yeah. guys this story when they brought in Chapman in the World Series, and I was at field level. Yeah, I thought it was CGI. <laughs> I had never seen 103 in real life. I literally thought it was CGI. Then I thought. How is Ross even catching this yeah. baseball right now? Right, and when, and it's easier to hear because there was wasn't the roar of the crowd during the warm up pitches. The sound of the ball hitting the glove was the same sound it would make if you took a baseball bat and swung it absolutely as hard as you could at like a, a wet piece of you know hanging beef. You know that that slap yeah. sound. Yeah, yeah. right. A hundred to the ribs does kind of scare me. Yeah, when I think um, about it. Yeah. Yeah, I it's totally. We suffered the, the pain of the Steelers winning the Super Bowl before. That's no big deal. We still wake up pain. the next day. I guess we'd survive that. I yeah, guess. that's true. But all right, Mike Miles. Uh, real quick, Anthony wants to chime in on this. Guys, one. you're thinking about it all wrong. If you take the sack, then you can go take a hot shower when you're really sore from taking the sack. True. Actually, yeah, then I you probably need the cold. And what's the alternative? After you get that hit, cold showers forever. Every cold day. showers forever. Man, get or out one of here, hit. bro. One hit. Get out of here, bro. Like you taking a hit. I'll take a hit from any of these dudes. You're man. built to take it. Uh, yeah, That's I'm like, true. come on, man. What are you gonna G. do? G. Bush takes one more hit. He's back on a surgery table for neck surgery, like back. 48. No, He's already I, gone. Back I, listen, on that I'm already, I'm, I'm already there. All are the you time. going back for surgery again? I've, I, I get, the, I get a procedure every year. Oh my god. Mm. Come on. All right, okay. number six. These are non-sports. These are we just searched Google, found a couple that we thought might be uh, okay. A little morbid, a little fun. We'll figure out. Next. Morbid. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? Oh, my God. That's, oh. Hot, that's hot right now because there's a book yes. in which I think eight people get a package on their doorstep. And it gives – if you want to open it, it tells you the day that you die. What? And that, Yeah, and, and it's this dilemma. Do you want to know? Would oh. you like to know that? So that, that's, that's very timely right now. See, here's the problem. If I knew I was going to live for at least another 20 but something you don't. years, no, then I'd want to know when. Well, sure you would. But if I was going to die soon, could, I wouldn't want to know. It could be next Tuesday. It could, so be, t- it could be this afternoon for all yeah. I know. Who wants to know? When I couldn't die? pick either. I guess I'd rather know how I'm going to die. Give me the how. I hope it's yeah. like eaten by a bear. <laughs> I hope it's something. Manly. I hope it's not lame like a stroke. <laughs> this is a very, it's a very. No, you got this wrong. I'll tell you why. How, what's your answer? It, it, this is very easy. It's when. Right. If you if you know when you have an opportunity to be a, a decent person, it doesn't matter how you go. You just know the fact that you, this is your day and this it is what it is. Now you can live up to your capabilities. Shouldn't you be a decent person anyway? So, so yeah, I'm glad you said that. So yeah. really, there's only one right answer here. And the answer is you'd want to know how you're going to die, yeah. because likely that would give you a, an approximation as to when. Not if, if it's you're standing by your wife. accident, you don't know when. then it could be tomorrow. If it is a stroke or it is of natural causes, yeah. you got your answer. You got yeah. both. And mm. to you, I'm glad you made that point because on my dad, my father's dying bed, we, we had many conversations about the end of life. And I had asked him, you know, you never had to make this decision because you lost your dad suddenly to a heart attack. But if you had the chance to go back and pick, to do it your way or my way, because I spent my la- his last six weeks with him. I was with him every day, mm-hmm. by his side, yeah. all six weeks. I asked him which bu- which door would you go behind, and he said yours, because I never got a chance to ask my dad that question. That was profound. Yeah. The other thing was 
when I, we were talking to about knowing that you have an expiration date. My dad wisely said, you do too. Yep. Yeah. You may not know it yep. like I do. So my advice to you moving forward through your life is live every day like I've lived mine for the last eight years, knowing that I'm dying. Because in truth, you're dying too. Everybody is. There's a fact here. Absolutely. That I'm saying, we're all Depressing. one day closer to our death than we yes. were yesterday. Well, that so happy live note. every day. No, no, I bring that up. Yeah. I, I Listen, it's hard for me to talk about that because yeah. these were real conversations yeah. I had with my dad. I've had 13 years to process them, and I think I have effectively. But what I would say to your point is my biggest takeaway from that conversation with Pops was I do try to live every day. When I wake up, I, I don't think about it consciously every day, but I try to live my life right. every day like this might be my last. Mm. And it might be the lasting impression that I leave on you and you and you. And hopefully those that I come in contact with can say he got the most out of his life and he and he treated people he did the way thing. he wanted to be treated. And I think we should all do that every day. And this world would be a way better place. I do have one question on the how. If I get beaten to death by my wife, that could be today or it could be 25 that's years true. from now. So, it's, I mean, that's probably how I'm going to go. And, uh, I haven't met your wife. And she can do it, lovely. too. I don't think she would ever lay a hand on oh you. Oh, my hey, God. Listen, so I, your wife, you totally your wife you shoots that. you in the head. <laughs> hey. Well, that no, could be you today. Know what? That could be useful information, too, mm. because then you divorce. <laughs> and you well, might then she's definitely going to shoot you in the head. <laughs> would you have the ability to void your death? Like, if you knew you were going to die in a car crash, you'd never get in a car Never get in a car again, and then you're safe. Yeah. I guess. Earl, Earl wants to chime in on this one. That's a great question. That's a depressing Yo, so we, topic, and I hate you guys for being No, it's not depressing, man. We just got to have some fun with it. So, Jason, man, I'm going to need you to be the guy that tells the story. I said I want to know how. Because, like, if I die by getting bit by a poisonous spider, seeing that everything I've overcome, somebody got to change the narrative. You got to go tell somebody I was in the hood, I got caught in the drive-by, and it took me out. Yeah, like, like I can't, I can't, man, a spider? I know. Everything I've been through? And then every time you see a spider the rest of your life, you're going to go, ah! Yeah, man. So, so I do that already. <laughs> Somebody change the story. Let them know. Are there that any that ain't, poisonous that ain't how it spiders in you know in this part of the country? Yeah, that can I got bit by a poisonous brown spider. Brown recluse spiders will get you. In Cleveland, the only stitches I ever I'm got pretty, in my life. I'm, I'm pretty sure brown recluse sp spiders uh, can live in in Ohio. I'm wow. pretty sure they can. Do you do you know that uh, my wife used to fight spiders in the jungle of the Philippines when she was younger? What do you mean? She as used as to a fight hobby? Them? What does that mean? Or out of necessity? <laughs> no, like she used to she used to fight them. Like, like I'm, guys, what, is, what like, are you like, doing today? I'm one, going to the jungle to fight. What is no, that? No, 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 no. Fight them. So she I fight they, a spider. They will capture spiders, yeah. right? Boxing matches. And then they would starve the spiders, and then the spiders would then like fight each other like in like oh so like she was oh like, she wasn't with fighting pit, a spider like, herself pit bulls but spiders yes but like spiders. cock fighting but yeah spiders. like it's got, is that illegal in america probably but you know what though that would be i imagine those spiders were the size of your hand oh and they were they were it poisonous. could probably be entertaining to watch yeah they, it, they need like some video games or something nah bro <laughs> the the this, boy this she grew up that's in, true because we don't have here because of yeah the like i've never heard of watching <laughs> spiders I, was, I thought she was lying for i'm saying you lying she's like she and you could she snapped went all back into it she's like yeah what you gotta do <laughs> is you got to starve them for three days. I said, how the hell do you stick your head in a jar with a huge spider and he ain't ate yeah. nothing? You grow a bond with him. I say, uh-uh, no. Bro. Wow. That's crazy. We get that you I hate spiders so much. Yeah. It's the I, one I thing I can't hate do. Them, but I don't I, love them either. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There it is. I got my bathing suits. Bro, it's got your logo on it. Look. And you hired this girl to... Let me yeah. see this, Gene. This is unbelievable. We have one more after we're done passing around. Do you have your own line of automobiles too? Uh, I don't have my I don't have my own line of automobiles. I'll pull this back up so you can get this. Um, there you go. There's there's my, these are my bathing suits. By the way, <laughs> I gotta see this. This is incredible. You're dabbling in some weird stuff, bro. <laughs> Stroke. Yeah, did you design this girl? Did you design the bikinis? Yes. Though? Found her on back. You designed them. Yes, I designed them. Dude, this girl's smoking hot. How? Like who? Oh, Fiverr. You can get people on Fiverr. You can Fiverr. see. Fiverr. What is Fiverr? Yeah, look, Fiverr is is where where you can um like if Hire I was people. looking for a cartoonist or yeah. something, I'll show you so it don't look creeper. Let me let me pull it up so I look like and a it creeper. It kind of looks creeper. <laughs> it looks creeper, but but, but I do sell this. Show me so I won't think it is creeper. So. It's not, it's oh, not oh, 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 no. No. we got, we got one more. Would yeah, you rather? We'll go that and then I'll show you. Over time. Okay. All right. Yeah. You'll show the us. Last, would you rather, would you rather talk like Yoda for the rest of your life or <laughs> breathe like Darth Vader? Oh my God. <laughs> talk like Yoda. Breathe like Darth Vader. Yeah. Cause that's badass. 
<laughs> you enter the room. <laughs> you go to the drive-through to order, put It'd be your order in. Annoying all the time, though. I, I feel like yeah. having a CPAP mask. Look, on uh, yeah, I, yeah, trust me. <laughs> I did a sleep study one time. No, give me, give me Yoda. Yoda. Sleep study is the worst. Oh God. What is a sleep study? You go in and to find out if you need a CPAP machine. You got to sleep. They cook up all these wires to you, and then you and they make asleep? you go to sleep at like eight o'clock. How do you? They give you a sleep aid? I don't no. remember, but you, I, they yeah. don't give you a sleep no. aid. And then they study your brain waves and all this I stuff. I don't want no one studying my brain waves. <laughs> it's horrible. It's terrible. It's bad. Study brain waves, you will. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk like Yoda. That's Yoda. awful.